Shalom, the Lord bless you. Ooh, I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba. And this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This prophetic word says, The evil woman who attacked you is sick and crying right now. The person is really, really down. Now, <laughs> I I just cannot wait to, to talk about this. I just cannot wait to, to expand on this particular prophetic word. Because I saw this prophetic word and it resonated so strong in my spirit. And, you know... But this is your situation right now and a lot of people are going through this what am i talking about the situation i'm talking about i'm talking about battles and attacks you know we live in a generation whereby you don't need to do anything for somebody to be jealous of you you don't need to do anything for somebody to just want to attack you you don't need to do anything for somebody to just wake up and then go all crazy about you i've noticed a lot around the generation that we are today and what I've noticed is the fact that there are people whose assignment is for you not to succeed. Now, let me explain something to you. Why your assignment is to succeed? There is another person whose assignment is for you not to succeed. And you must know that life is purely spiritual. Life is purely spiritual. Now, there is somebody who is on earth. Now, you are on earth right now. You want to make it. You want to live an amazing life. You want to live a peaceful life. You want to be happy. You want to be so fine. Now, on the contrary, there is somebody whose assignment is for you not to be happy. Is for you not to live an amazing life. And is for you not to be okay. So once you're not okay, according to them, they are fulfilling the assignment. I'm telling you, that's the society and that's the generation we are into right now. There are people who, as long as they are not, uh, they are seeing that you're not happy, they are okay. You know, there is this story that, um, um, it's a made-up story, that God spoke to somebody. God said, you've been praying for a long time now, and I've decided that I want to bless you. So, Bert, I'm going to bless you on this condition. Whatever I give you one, I'm going to do it twice to your neighbor. And then this is a prayer warrior, somebody who has been praying. Now, because the person felt like, how can my neighbor have twice the blessings that God is going to give me? So this particular person said, okay, since as, I mean, I don't want any blessing. I still want you to pluck off my one eye so that you're going to pluck off my neighbor's two eyes. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. And that is the society we are. You know, most of these stories are always just inspirational stories that you hear some people talk about. But that is what is going on. There is somebody, you're watching me right now. Your life has been from one attack to the other. Your life has been from one battle to the other. You've had to battle with a lot. You have, you've had to go through a lot. You know, and you know it, that this is not normal. You know that somebody's responsible for the attacks. You know that somebody's responsible for the battles. You know somebody's responsible for all of this. You know, one thing about battles is that I always tell myself, you should l concentrate your power on wanting to be okay. Not concentrating your power on attacking somebody for the person not to be okay. Now, the Bible says all things work together for good. In the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. That is what the Bible says. All things work together for good. Now, let me tell you something. Most of the times we go through battles, most of the times we go through attacks in our lives. And number one, we do not even know that God has been preparing and making us. We don't even know. Now, I was talking to somebody this morning and I got to um, remember what I've been through and what I've had to go through at my like my levels, at every levels in my life. And while I was talking to this amazing woman of God, I started remembering a lot of things I've been through. Like um, then it looked like suffering. 
but I'm realizing it was my process because it's all of these stories that have made me today. The stories made me stronger. The stories gave me strength. They made me feel like everything could be fine. Everything could be okay. Most of the times, the Lord let those battles in your life, not because he doesn't hear you when you cry and when you pray. He's going to be quiet because he wants you stronger. You did not know how much you could pray until you started having attacks in your life. When you started having misfortunes happening to you, you did not know. Sometimes we are just victims of some, some of some circumstances and some things that happens to us. But I got to understand that when those things start happening to you, God is working out something amazing for you. God is working out something different for you. God is working out something good. Most of the people I have seen with big troubles in their lives, I've noticed that they stood the the people who stood the test of time have amazing lives right now they are doing amazing they are doing good to an extent that the society looks up to them the society admires them but that is not how their lives way somebody you're going through attack right now the person who has been attacking you is sick unto death I say it again the person who has been attacking you is sick unto death when your oppressor starts dying get ready for your victory when your oppressor starts dying, get ready for your breakthrough. When your oppressor starts dying, get ready for your upliftment. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Somebody, you're getting ready to possess your possession. Everything is about to change. There is about to be a mighty turnaround. There is about to be a heavy upliftment in your life. I pray for you. You're possessing your possession this time around in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if these have been of great blessings to you, you will type it on the comment section and say, I am possessing my possession this season in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord is going to lead it in your heart to pray for me. Hallelujah. God bless you powerfully in the name of Jesus. And if the Lord lays it in your heart to plant a seed, to sow a seed, to give an offering, get to my about, catch up and PayPal, whatever God lays it in your heart to do. You know, I learned to give people the opportunity to do that. I learned that recently when it comes to videos. I learned that. I learned that. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you so much now. May the Lord bless you. Keep you cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you. And may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. I do. I love you so much if nobody ever tells you how much they love you i ethel i'm telling you right now that i love you so so much and by the special grace of god i will see you in our next prophetic word and live session keep praying for me keep sharing the video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe god bless you i love you shalom